How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Well, as you've seen in the last video there, I had to break my window to get into the truck at the gas station. So today on the video, guess what I'm doing? I'm putting a freaking door glass in this bitch. Freaking right I am. So stick around for it and see what you think. I need some tools, so hold on a minute. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Bilsif. Let's see what's really going on. Pretty sure we're gonna need a 10 mil, so I better grab it now. I think that's all I really need on this job. I don't need much more, I'll tell you that right now. So first thing you wanna do is, Pull the lock mechanism out, which is just a pull thing. Make sure you don't lose any parts, because they'll jump everywhere. So there you go, see it's just a little pull pin that comes out and it releases it, and Bob's your uncle. Then you want to pull this off. One of these are broken already, so don't worry. You just pull them out, there's a couple clips on there, and there should be three, but that one's broke. I broke that a little while ago. And then this thing here, you can grab it from the bottom and pull it out, and it just pops off. So there you go, see it's got a little doodad, and a little doodad, and a little doodad, doodad. So then we need some 10 millage action, which is right here. That one, that comes off. Then we got another cover down here, right there. And then there's two 10 mil, just like that. Now they're in the door and I'll get them next year. Oh yeah, they're in the door. We'll get them out after. So then we can pop this off. I actually gotta get a new switch too because one of my switches are acting up. So we'll unplug these for now, just so we can get the door panel right out of the way. Get off there, get off there. Oh, just so you know, yesterday, I came back negative on what you think I might have been doing. Friggin' right I did. So down under here under the handle, there's another one which comes out. If you don't do it just right, you score it. So you just want to get quite in there and give her a little doodad. Careful. Don't take this 10 mil out. There you go. Now the handle's the next problem. It's going to be hard to show you this one because I don't know how to get the damn cord in there. Okay, you got to be careful with these. Right. I can't show you, Jim. There goes my bolt. On this thing, there's two little pusher pushers so you gotta push it in and then pull it and then take it off do you understand what i'm saying so now pull this off nice and gentle now if your truck's getting older like mine this stuff rips real easy just gonna kind of take your time with it and i like to get them right out of the way i'll have to take them all the way off but i like to that way they're out of the damn way there we go as you can see the bottom of my door is rusting again i just can't keep up to that door what's really going on now, these regulators, they're simple, easy regulators. And my suggestion to you is, if you have a broken door glass, pull the regulator right out of the truck because it, all it takes is one piece of glass and the regulator is garbage. They just do not like glass at all. So I'll just unplug this one. There we go. Now we can just lift it out. So it just lifts off like that. Same on this side. Okay. Bring this side down, bring this side up. You just slide her out the hole. Yeah. You bring the other one with you. Get out of there. That's all there is to the regulator on these things. Either a cable ran regulator, and what happens is door glass gets broken, and then glass ends up down in there, and it just cocks right over, or it ends up in the tracks and it cocks it over. So you just better off to pull them out. And then these are just gonna loosen up a little bit. Not much. Obviously, I rolled that motor up while the window was broken. That you never do either. So I'm just gonna loosen these up and clean the glass out of them. I'll be right back. As you see, I got all the little tabbies blowing out with air. Blow out all that stuff and make sure there's no glass stuck in that anywhere. So what I'm gonna do next is wait for the air compressor. So what you wanna do next is, I do it this way because I'm professional. Do you believe me? Probably not. So with a lot of these door glasses, you can uh, take this trim right off and make sure it's cleaned out. With this year of Shivery Silverados, it's a hard one and it's a pain in the ass to get out. So we're just gonna clean it with a thick tool. You gotta make sure all the glass is out of this because if there's any glass left in here, when you go to roll up your new door glass, it'll just blow it right off. Just destroy it. You can use a coat hanger and whatnot, and this and that and the other thing, but I'm just gonna use this because that's what I do. So that feels good. There's actually nothing, should be nothing in there. So now we gotta clean out the bottom track. When you're doing this, just watch yourself, Captain. Because the metal can be sharp. Sharper than dicks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely have my door oiled, I do. So now that's done, you do need to loosen this 10 mil to get the new door glass in. And now we gotta clean out the door and blow it out. All right, so now that that's done, and we know the door glass is cleaned out, now I give it a shake. You're never gonna get 100%. If your vehicle's oiled like mine is down there, it's pretty good because it stops the glass from moving around. So now that you're happy with that, which I am, I'm gonna grab a spray bomb and I'm just gonna spray bomb the bottom of that door since it's a part. This is what pisses me off. You spend all this time 
rust check in your vehicle. And what makes it rust? The door panel rubbing against the metal. Here we go, good enough. I'll just uh, get up some of that premium paint I got. I know it's not gray, but we'll slap some rust oleum on it. This truck's getting old, and I just want to slow her down, Jim. Put her on to that cap. There we go. Okay, so I'll let that dry. We'll give it another coat before I put it back together. Let's get the door glass in here. Now let's get the regulator in here first. We're gonna put the regulator back in so it goes this way, so we can go in this. What do you think of that? Leave your comments down below. Why wouldn't you? Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button too. Here we go. Easy. Oh, he's just giving her. Get in there. One more. Plug her in. And now we gotta turn the key on and roll her down. See if we can just plug one in. All right, down she comes. Careful. Oh, dick. Come on. See, you're not supposed to roll them. Oh yeah, of course. It's all the way you hold your tongue. I'm gonna have to take the regular out to get these back on. I think we got them. Nope, we missed. I'm gonna take the regular back up. This is ridiculous. I'll show you what I'm doing. This is one of our pet peeves when we're doing these regulars. Is if somebody gets the door glass broken and they try to roll it up like I did, it cocks them right over. Okay, so see, if you roll them right up without a door glass in it, that's what happens to them. They come off the top of the regulator. So you can't fucking roll them down until you get them both lined up just right. When you're doing it inside the door, it's a pain in that arse hole. So there's that one, and there's that one. Now we gotta make sure we go the right way, which is down. There we go. And that's all there is to it. See, it's just a pain in the ass when it's inside the door. I took my gloves off at the wrong time, didn't I? Now that I showed you that, we can put it back in again. So now, let's bring this thing down. Get it right out of the way for now. So when you put the door glass in, like I said, make sure this channel's loose at the front because you're gonna wanna bend that son of a bitch right out of the way. And if you have a vent visor like I do, they're kind of a pain in the ass too because they get in the way, as you'll see here. And I got the good vent visor too, the one that's a real dick. Let me grab some tape to protect her. Might wanna protect your paint back here too. All right, let's do this again. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Always cocky. So now you can roll it up. Make sure the door glass is in the grooves. I like to come all the way up first and then down because then it kind of centers it. We'll get this screw back in the front. There we go. We'll go up again. Perfect. So now when you're tightening these, use a hand bomber because you don't want to blow the door glass up. I've only blew a door glass up twice in my career by over tightening. So what can happen? So you got to be careful. You got rubber on, they just kind of pinch the glass and that's all it holds in. And the reason why they do that because in the winter time when they're frozen, instead of breaking a cable, they pop off the glass. Some vehicles they don't, they just bust a regulator. Mind you, these trucks are bad for regulators also. Let's make sure the auto works. Perfect. This thing don't have auto up. I was gonna show you how to reset that damn, but I don't have auto up. Bumper that goes in here, or it's called a weather doodad. But I'm gonna leave this out because Kurt's gonna retint this window for me. So I'll put this back on after. Don't worry in the comments if you say, hey, you forgot that. No, I didn't. What the hell is all this? I should maybe do something with that. That's my mirror deal. Where does this go? That goes like that. That's no damn good. Hey, while we're on the topic of breaking door glasses and stuff like that, just remember, if you're ever locked out of your vehicle and you wanna break a door glass to get in or a glass, don't bust a slider. Bird. Don't break a slider because if you break a slider window, you have to replace it all normally. So there's a few that you can get away with, but normally you have to replace everything. And the smallest window in a vehicle is normally the most expensive window in the vehicle. So remember that too. So don't break that little tiny quarter window behind your door because you'll be paying big bucks compared to a door glass. Door glasses are normally your cheapest thing to break on a vehicle. Drivers, 
or passengers normally because they're the most common to be replaced on smash and grabs. So just remember that. If you're gonna get in your vehicle, break a door glass. Don't break any other window in the vehicle or you'll be paying big bucks. Friggin' right you will. Frick, it goes here somewhere. You gotta make sure you line up with these holes or I'll curse you when you go to put the door panel back on. You'll be like, what the hell is really going on? So now we can put the door panel back on after we get the handle mechanism out. Where have I tucked it? Here it is. So slide it on, pull it up, pop it in. There you go. Don't forget to bring it out. Do you need that? Line it up to the new dads. It's all in the way you hold your tongue. Like I tell you, on every deal we do together. Oh, I forgot to put another coat of paint on that, didn't I? Well, it's okay. We'll do that when we take the door panel off to put that strip back on. Yeah, we will. Now I'm talking to you at the same time as working. Normally when I do that, I forget something. So let's just step back and think two, four, five, six screws. We got them. So this can go on back on first and then we can throw some screws in. Pretty sure this is where it belongs, right here. Now I'll put these screws in here. Careful. Decent. Ooh, that's better. That was never tight, you know that? And there we go, so that's done. So now we can snafu this thing on, snafu this thing on, snafu this one on, snafu this one on. Oh, forget the doodad. Sound deadener material. This on, and then this on. And Bob's your uncle. Lockwork. Window works. We're good to go. All done, but the cleaning up. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed that little video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell if you did. I appreciate it. I'm glad you're all here. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. Until next time, you know what to do for now.